So, um, right, so he's talking, so the griot is this oral performer, right, who is uh, a, a musician as well as a poet, uh, a politician, and most importantly, a historian. Uh, a historian who's working with memory in this oral way. And, of course, uh, us being Westerners, you know, this is an issue, right, that we are more comfortable with the historical text. We are more than we are with oral memory, okay? So we have been, you know, um, sort of taught over the last, you know, 200, 300 years of our Western education system that, you know, a more scientific, more philosophical, a more analytical and rigorous approach to history, which can confirm something like historical truth is best done in this, in a textual way, with footnotes, with research, with archives, with libraries, all the stuff that you've learned over the years in, um, you know, writing a term paper, okay? So uh, what the, the editor is talking about here is that, you know, it's, it's hard to present an oral text in a scholarly way to a Western scholarly tradition where most people are debunking or most Western scholars are debunking this idea of the oral text and memory, right, as uh, speaking to the idea of history. So this is definitely an issue. I think this is something that we as Westerners all carry around with us. This is a type of discriminatory sort of practice, which is totally understandable based on, you know, where we come from and the education that we have. But um, we tend, because we are textualists, we tend to um, diminish the idea of the oral text and uh, oral memory or history as it is done through the oral text. Um, and another thing that, that points out here as a historian, so the griot as a historian is spending a lot of time with tribal connections, with family connections, with clan and ethnic kinships, right? And again, this is the kind of thing that within our own families we talk about, right, as genealogies, but as a type of uh, sort of national history or cultural history, you know, we don't, we don't see this as real history, right? And so that the Grio spends a lot of time on ge genealogies. And indeed, in all oral culture and in, uh, in many of the ancient texts that we read, uh, genealogies about uh, births and deaths, about family connections are extremely, extremely important, and they have to be repeated for people to remember them. 